Okay, so now we finish our search tab. What's next? The next one is the brands. So for the brands, we're actually going to have a selection of brands with some of their products, and you're going to be able to click on those brands and see what products, the detail of their products inside. But first, we're going to have a list of the brands. So for that, let's, uh, let's start by duplicating Remember, I love duplicating. So, start by duplicating this one. What do you think? Let's put it over here. That way we can create a new flow. So, let's uh, go to your Arbor tool and just drag and release. Remember to press Alt. That way you're duplicating. So here, we're going to delete this, actually going to delete this. From here, the only thing that we're going to keep is the menu or status bar, but we want to copy this. We want to copy the title bar. So go over here, select this, select this, Command C, go back to this one, Let's press Command Shift B. So once you're here, I'm going to change this to brands. It's pretty good. So now that we have our title, we want to do the same treatment with the tabs. So we want to have brands selected. So we're gonna double click and double click again. Now we have the flag, and let's press the eyedropper, or press I, let's make it blue. Let's select the mag magnifying glass, let's press I, select this one, and perfect, we have the icons. Now let's press the text. The looking good now we have our brands button selected we have our title we have our tab perfect let's actually start adding brands but the brands is going to be a, a big list so probably we want to actually make this artwork a little bit bigger so let's drag and release a little bit over here and then let's go to our artwork tool Sure, just align to artwork, align to bottom. Perfect. Now let's actually create the modules of those brands. So for that, remember when we did on, on or onboarding and we already added, added brands. So we should probably use this. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and select a couple of these and then alt drag and release let's put them over here now that we have them remember i love love reusing elements it just makes everything faster and that's why i love illustrator so we have our things here but we don't want it to be just the brand and the name of the swag, the number of the swags. We actually want to show some elements. So for that, we're gonna first let's ungroup this. To ungroup, remember to just like select it and then go to object ungroup. Now that it's ungroup, I can actually make this a little bit bigger. So to make it bigger, that way I have space to actually add products. Let's add four products per row. So let's go to our square tool, rectangle tool, sorry. You just press M, makes it faster. And pressing shift, that way it's proportionally. You 
have one. Let's duplicate it. Two, three, four. Wow, almost perfect. Select these. Select this one. And let's make it perfect. There you go. Now that we have this, let's make this one this size. Oops, sorry, we actually wanted to get this size. And here we're going to add photos of the products. So let's go to File, Place, and go to your Assets folder and go to the Image folder. Let's, uh, let's just select some random stuff. So, say this one. Let's go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back, then select the square you want, then press Command 7, or you can go to Object, Clip and Mask, Make. Now you have one product. Let's adjust Double click, move it around so it's not all too good. Perfect. Let's add a different product. So, go to File, Place. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Drag and release. Send to back. Select this one, and then press Command Seven. Or remember, Object, Clip and Mask, Make. I'm actually going to get rid of these two. I'm going to duplicate these two. Perfect. So I'll click here, change this one, file, place, select one randomly. I want to go fast here. Perfect. Double click outside, double click here. Change this image for something better. Place. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm singing for you guys. Love singing. What about you? Select this one. I thought it was. Let's put it at the bottom. Just looks good. Let's get rid of this. And. Perfect. We have this. Let's add a different label over here for the ones that you're actually following. So, just put some text. Let's put it over here. That looks nice. Looks sexy. So, we have our first brand. Let's zoom out. And from this, actually, we don't need any of this. Let's get rid of that. Oops. No. Command Shift G. Ungroup. Let's get rid of this. So from this, we can actually select everything and group it. Duplicate it. You know what? I'm not actually a big fan of this padding. So let's actually fix that. Make it a little bit bigger. Want some hot space. Let's put it skin. So let's put it around there. So we'll click. Let's adjust. It's so much better now. Good spacing. Let's put this. This is too small. So let's make it 22. Let's make it regular. Perfect. We have our first brand module. Let's duplicate this module. Let's edit it. So for this, probably we want this logo. So press Command X. Once you're here, zoom in, Command V. Then let's drag it. Let's put it over here. Let's get this aligned with this. Let's leave this one. Let's change the name. 
So this one is or remember we're prototyping so this doesn't need to be perfect we just want to give an experience this one i'm not actually following if some of them this one has a ton of swings so this one has 12 200 remember for prototyping we want it to be fast we want it to be reusing elements we just want to give the experience of how this app feels in your hands so don't be afraid of just like reusing elements that's what will make you a lot more efficient so let's change this images let's go with that one Strat, release it's good so change these images Get rid of this one. Let's go to place. We haven't used this photo, so we can totally use it here. It's good. And use this one. File place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like me singing you do you this is looking really nice I really like it it's looking clean and sharp I like that so change this image too I don't want it to be always the same file place uh, I don't like that smile that's it let's put the smile in Sometimes I, I feel like fashion needs a little bit more smiling. I feel sometimes it's a little bit too serious. You now look at that, serious, 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 serious. But then you get a smile. Big, big smile. Love smiles. Everybody loves a smile. Okay, so now we have two brands. Let's go ahead and duplicate these brands. What do you say? Let's just duplicate these modules. This line, then press Command V. That way, we have a ton of modules. Let's move this. Let's duplicate this other one. Let's move it around here. Looking good. Let's align this. Let's zoom in to make make sure it's looking good. Perfect. Now let's go to your artboard tool and suggest it. just drag and release. It's starting to look a little bit too repetitive, so it's good to use the same elements, but probably we want to change the colors and just drag and drop. I'll probably change some of the images. Change this one. This photo. Let's get the file place and dun, 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 dun. this looks good. Now yeah, it's starting to look all different. Let's change. Change the color of this one. Chappelle show, Chappelle show. Yeah, it's looking good. So we're reusing elements. But we just want to give the idea of how it feels when you go to the brand section. You see a lot of brand brands that are clickable. You can just go through them. Actually, it starts feeling different. Let's change. This one. This one is calling my attention. So let's go place and use 
use this. Let's go back to images. Oh, see that smile. Always, I love that smile. Now we have let's do this. Let's do this. We have our screen where you select one of the brands. So it's perfect. Now what we're going to do next is actually go into the detail page of a brand. So stay tuned. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> 